The Uso Penitentiary is now open for business, and Officer Jey Uso is on duty. All right, we'll meet in the yard later. Jey Uso is so explosive in the ring, guys. He can hit you with a splash, slap on a devastating submission, or start a super kick party. And while he's dished out a few hangovers with his brother Jey Uso, he's more than capable of throwing a super kick party all by himself. Boom, what a kick. What grace! Float over into the... Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Better be careful not to get disqualified. What a stomp! Good grief! For many years, the Usos have been considered the elite tag team in sports entertainment. On March 21st, 2017, Jay and his brother Jimmy added another trophy to their collection, the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. They're not only expanding the Anawa'i family dynasty, they're building their own. Float over. Oh. And do it. The Usos have won different tag team championships during their tenure in WWE. But when they added the SmackDown Live tag team titles to their resume, they became just the fourth duo to hold the prizes that symbolize being SmackDown's top team. The Usos came to WWE to dominate sports entertainment together. Just days before WrestleMania 33, Jay and his brother Jimmy raised their game to take down American Alpha and begin their first reign as SmackDown Live tag team champions. Not now. Not now. Oh, no. Oh, it is not. That's the combination. Bam. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. This might be it. Oh, my. Looking for the win. Can he finish the job? He's got the shoulders down. He gets the shoulder up in time. The co-founder of the Uso Penitentiary stays alive as Jey Uso kicks out. Up and down. A lot of damage taken on by Jey Uso. I'm not sure how this will pan out. He may very well be on Dream Street right now, guys. Jey Uso can come back from this. After all, he hasn't been down since day one-ish. What does that even mean? Jey Uso just barely getting out of the way. With the quickness. Big rattling. Here's a cover. There's the pinfall and the victory.
The WWE Universe is chomping to the bit to see these two competitors go at it. You can count me in on the excitement. I can't wait. Maybe a figment of your imagination, but little Jimmy hurts. Ooh, well-planted knee. Ouch. Striking combination. Wow, look at the quickness by Shane McMahon. Maybe a figment of your imagination, but little Jimmy hurts. Brutal knee right to the face. Too quick for him there. Uh-oh. Neckbreaker! Oh! Right to the back. One thing you can't take away from Shane McMahon, Corey, is that he has proven to be one of the most fair and balanced leaders WWE has ever seen. Yeah, right. As evidenced by his work as SmackDown Live Commissioner, Cole, where Shane continually cultivates a, quote, land of opportunity. How about you ask Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn about Shane's fairness? Boom! You guys brought up a great point about SmackDown being the land of opportunity, thanks to part two Shane McMahon. And, you know, I'd say guys like Mojo Rawley and even Jinder Mahal should be thanking Shane. No, no, no. Let's not get carried away. Anyone that has success around Shane McMahon tends to have that success in spite of Shane's presence. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Drop with authority. Big slam. Here we go. Back inside the ring. Harsh impact. Oh, nasty impact. Jay McMahon, big move coming. You know what I respect the most about Shane McMahon, guys? It's that he could very easily sit on the sidelines and reap the benefits of being Mr. McMahon's son. Oof! That should do it. Momentum is fully in the corner of Shane McMahon now. Here's Shane McMahon into the quick cover. This singles match has come to an end. Wow. 